Wow. Look at these. Just a bunch of muscle cars inside a fence. It's a sometimes vlog. Sorry, I still don't really have my voice back. It's a vlog that happens sometimes. Look at these. There's a Mach 1 right there. Here's a 1960, what, 8, 9? Mustang, hard to tell, a little rusty. I see some Camaros. I see some Chevelles. I see a few American-made muscle cars. Do we have any AMC vehicles in here? There's a Barracuda right there. How about that? I don't know all that much about muscle cars, but I do know there's quite a few rusting hulks here in this fence. Of course, hulk refers to a ship which is left to rot. You know they used to put prisoners on old ships? Like in England, they used to stick, they had no more rooms in the jails. The laws were so harsh, like in the Dickensian times, they used to stick prisoners on old Navy ships, stick them in the rivers and harbors in England, and just stick them out there. No big deal. Before they started eventually, you know, transporting them off to, well, North America, then eventually Australia, New Zealand, etc. Look at these. I don't even really know what that is. What is that and what is that? What are those cars right there? I'm not sure. Completely ignorant. Look at this. Look at where we are. To be honest with you, I have no idea where we are. This is one of those, one of the many unknown, and maybe unknowable, places in the Central Valley of California where there's just sorta nothing. Kinda reminds me of horror movies sometimes. Just kind of strange. Not quite desert. Not quite prairie. There's just no other word for it. California's Central Valley. Just the Central Valley. What are you gonna do? All kinds of bugs, critters, all kinds of weird noises. And look! The old watering hole. Oh, the places you'll go. Right? I got a banana in my pocket. Literally. How about that one? Anyways, I just wanted to pop in and say hello. I wasn't going to even do a vlog today. This morning I was on The Daily Woo with Adam the Woo, youtube.com slash The Daily Woo. <sighs> Dropping off some presents which some people gave us last night at Disneyland. They gave them to me, some of which were to be given to, hey, there's a little, it's Dotson, right? One of which was stuffed Franks for me, awesome, and Tyler and Jeff Heinbuck, and a stuffed, whoa, See that butterfly? He was huge. Knitted Big the Foot for Adam the Woo. So I had to drop that off before skipping town. Why am I skipping town? Because of the law. No, I'm not running for the law. I'm actually running towards the law because I still owe on that speeding ticket from a while back. And it is time to go pay the bill. So I'm headed up north to pay the bill. Always good to get out of town anyways. It's got itchy feet. I can never hold still for too long. So I'm going to go pay the bill. Pay the tax man, the tax man. Yeah, I'm the tax man. Okay, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I've been in the car for quite a while today, so I'm cruising through this beautiful scenery. I'm not even being sarcastic. I actually do like looking at this. But the thing is, is I get out quite a lot. So I go up to the mountains and I go down to the beach and I go to Disneyland. So when I come and see this, it's kind of hauntingly beautiful in a weird way that many people don't understand. But I like to try when I can to see the beauty in everything. Of course, there's days where I'm grumpy or ticked off just like anybody else and I can't see the beauty in anything. I'm not perfect, but the thing is the more I try to see beauty when I'm neutral, when I would just normally be like, okay, I'm gonna go to the gas station, I'm gonna get my banana, climb back into my car and take off. I could just do that or I could stop and look at this butterfly here on these crazy looking, see that? On these crazy looking wildflowers that I might otherwise have never noticed. These are weeds. Who was it? What's the famous quote that said, a weed is just a plant growing in the wrong place? There's no such thing as a weed? I can't remember. There's a really good quote about that, but I'm failing at the quote. Look at this. It's like Tatooine out here, right? Right? Look at that pole. Question. Did this pole get put there in a bent manner on purpose? Or do you think, you know, it was just really windy one day? 
Or do you think some really strong man came and said, check this out, ladies. Not me, though, right? Yeah, not me. Still kind of bruised ribs. Swollen lymph nodes, bruised ribs uh, from the car wreck, which was just, oh, this isn't even hard. This isn't even metal. It's plastic. So what really happened here is this piece of PVC pipe, apparently, has bent over time just with the heat and sagginess. Well, mystery solved. So actually, I am strong enough to bend it. Arr, I shouldn't have told you that. I should have told you it was steel, pure steel. Yes, yes. I've done my duty. Now I can go home and sleep well. Anyway, I don't have long because I have no idea when and where I'm going to be able to upload this. There's not much cell phone service, much less internet and or Wi-Fi out here on the road. On the I-5 through the Central Valley of California. Traveling 99 is better because there's more towns to stop in, bigger truck stops are better scenery, but I-5 is quicker. So heading up to Northern California and I'll be back for some more adventures in Southern California later. Don't know when, don't know why. I had no strings to hold me down, to make me fret, to make me frown. Oh, but like I was saying, I try to see beauty and everything. I get just as angry, if not more so, just as freaked out, just as panicked, and just as frustrated as anybody else in the world. Hey, see, there's my car. My car's looking a little bit better than, say, that Camaro or those Mustangs over there, but not much. I wonder if someday this car here, Lucille number two, Lucy, will be in a lot like this. I wonder if it's the owner of the gas station just sort of collects them one by one as they break down. What happens here? What's really crazy is that there are people out there with the skills to make this run, to make that Mustang with all its parts on the seat run. Just to go, oh yeah, I can handle that. Give me a month or two and put it back together. You know, if they had all unlimited money and time, obviously. They can sit there and make that an operational vehicle again. That blows my mind. I would love to own a 1960s, maybe even a 1970, if you're talking about Boss 302 Mustang someday but for now pretty stoked on the 2011 which so far so good but at least with this one there's a warranty so i'll be okay anyway see the beauty in everything as much as you can when it's inconvenient and i promise you that it helps you to see the beauty when there's none if you know what i'm saying it's very difficult to be positive when something happens and there's a legitimate reason to be angry or a legitimate reason to be frustrated or a legitimate reason to want to punch someone in the face or you want to be depressed, or you want to be cynical, or bad things are happening to you, you lost your job, whatever it is. Tons of reasons to be cynical. You're anxious, you're worried that you're going to lose someone close to you, you're worried about money. Hard to see the beauty in life? Well, that's because you're not practicing seeing the beauty in life when there is beauty. The more you practice seeing the beauty when there is beauty, or seeing the beauty in things that are sort of neutral, or you wouldn't normally stop and pause and look at the beauty of, the more you're going to be able your mind is going to be able to go into that place and see the beautiful side of things, the hopeful side of things, the positive side of things when you're negative. I'm going to let you go in just a couple seconds. Kind of a long vlog, actually, for being such a short vlog. Make sure to check out liftfastdiepoor.com. While I'm gone, there's all kinds of crazy stuff on there. Of course, there's a brand new random land. about the Queen Mary up at youtube.com slash liftfastdiepoor. I would try and do as many sometimes vlogs from the road as I can. Look at these flowers. Gorgeous. In the middle of nothing. Look at that. Of course, I'll be on Twitter, at Justin Scard. Instagram, at Justin Scard. There's also a Live Fast Die Poor Twitter and Instagram account, at Live Fast Die Poor, which hopefully Tyler Evans and or Jeff Heimbuck will use and post a few pictures from Disneyland sometime this week while I'm gone. See, I still have kind of horse in the old voice. At least I'm not donkey in the voice, right? Wouldn't want to make a jackass out of myself. That's legit because it's an animal, not a swear. Right? All right, so I'm back in the Mustang, armed only with this banana. I no longer smoke or have any kind of negative bad habits. Those are long gone, so when I drive, all I've got is candy and soda. And I thought, I need something other than candy and soda. I need a banana or an apple. But the apples in there look kind of gross. They look, well, actually, it's not that they look gross. It's just the lady in there looked like the evil queen in disguise from Snow White a little bit. And uh, she looked really excited about selling me the apple. And too excited. Made me a little nervous. Anyways, continue the quest for positivity, my friends. Hashtag Q, the number four P on Twitter. Tell me how your quest for positivity is going. It's weird the way I talk in these vlogs. Heh, 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 heh.
<laughs> I used to always think it was weird when Adam did it. Now I realize it's because you're thinking of things while you're talking. So I'm saying something to you and then I'm thinking of the next thing to say and it stilts your speech. It's very, very weird. I'm going to try not to do it anymore. I'm going to try and just think nothing while I talk. Like I do the rest of the day. Anyway, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe for some more Sometimes Vlogs. Sorry this one was so weird. Hashtag sorry I'm not sorry it's so weird because that's my life. Sometimes Vlog is a little peek into my life and mine. And I'm glad that you've come along. It's an excuse for us to hang out. We're going to keep doing it. It's now over 10 minutes. How in the world am I going to upload this? It's going to have to be very, very low quality on the go from day. Anyway, lipfast.ipore.spreadshirt.com. Some new shirts over there, including Mistlefoot the Moose. Check it out. I've really got to go now. Got to get back on the road. And it's really, 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 really hot in here. And I need the air conditioner. So, so yeah. Love you all. Oh, there's a band called Cox Bar on the radio, which means a male sparrow in English. Very good band. All right, I got to go. Thank you all for enjoying this weird stop with me. Maybe there'll be another vlog later today. <gasps> or maybe not. Or maybe in three days. Or maybe two days. It's the sometimes vlog. What do you want from me? Get at me. Twitter. At Justin Scott. Bye-bye.